Hello everyone. Today we will be installing the Matrox MX-02 Mini. The Matrox MX-02 Mini is not a plug and play device. Therefore, before we begin, ensure that your computer as well as the Mini are both powered down with their power sources disconnected. Before you insert the express card into your computer, ensure that you have connected the PCIe cable to the express card. Here is a picture of the back of the Matrox MX-02 Mini as well as a picture of my current setup. Once you have installed the Mini, you can now turn on your computer. This will also turn on the Mini, indicated by a blue light in front of the Mini. Please note, when turning off and disconnecting the Mini, ensure that you turn off your computer as well. Place the express card back into the anti-static bag when not in use. We will now begin the software installation. The Matrox MX-02 Mini does not currently come with a software installation CD or user manual, so you can head over to their website to download those two items. On the bottom of the screen you can see a copy of the website. When you get there, click on support and head down to downloads. Select the operating software you wish to install and select the product that you have currently purchased. Under download, you will find two options, one to download the software and the other to download the user manual. We will currently install the software. When you have selected it, select the version of the software you wish to download. Once selected, on the bottom right hand of the screen, select Go. Now I currently have my Matrix installed on my computer, so I will minimize Safari, select the Apple icon, and head down to System Preferences. On the bottom of the screen, you will see a Matrix MX-02 Mini installed. Click on it. The first tab is the General tab. Ensure that you have Allow Super White and Allow Super Black both checked off. The next tab you want to focus on is the AV input. Now in my video, I currently have set to component. If you have an HDMI Xbox, ensure that you have clicked on the HDMI selection. Audio, you have two choices, analog, unbalanced RCA, or HDMI embedded audio. Under scaling, you want to ensure that you have the scale input for capture box checked off. Select your source format through one of the four selections. The SD aspect ratio is currently set to letterbox. Once you have finished with that, select on video output. Now I currently have my output set to component. Set your main channel format to either follow application 720p or 1080. I currently have mine set to 1080. Both my channel selections are set to main channel. My channel behavior as you can see is 2 to 3, 2 to 3 ratio and my 16 to 9 to SD aspect ratio set to letterbox. Scrub and pause I have currently set to both fields and my set HDMI output is set to YUV. Under HDMI monitor calibration I currently have mine set to the factory settings. You can see more information on that in the user manual. Select the final tab audio output. I currently have enable audio mapping checked off. You can see my settings below. Once you have selected that you can close out of the system preferences. Now head over to Final Cut Pro. Click on Final Cut Pro and head down to Audio Video Settings. You want to focus on the third tab called Capture Presets. In this you want to scroll down and select the Matrox MX-02 Mini. DVC Pro 1080i at 59.94 frames per second. Once you have selected that, click on the fourth tab called Device Control Presets. Ensure that this is set to Non-Controllable Device. The final tab you want to click on is AV Devices. Now I currently have my video set to Matrox MX-02 Mini at 720 Progressive 25 YUV 8-bit. I have my audio set to Built-in Output. Once you have selected this, click on OK. Now you want to click on View and head down to External Video. You want to ensure that you have clicked on All Frames. Once that has been set, click on File. Head down to Login Capture. You shall now see your Xbox 360 dashboard on your TV screen as well as your computer monitor. 
One setting you might want to change is head over to the right and click on system settings. Click on console settings and click on display. Under HDTV settings, you want to ensure that you have selected the version of your output. Mine is currently set on 1080i. Once you have done that, you are now ready to log and capture your video. On the bottom right hand of the screen, click on Capture Now.